party people! Congrats on watching episode 54 of the Daily Decrypt, Independent Members, LTB Network. I'm your host, Amanda, glad to be here with you, and today's episode is brought to you by NewBits. The internal debate on the Bitcoin block size cap may be taking a new turn. In the past, some have suggested that fee markets replace a block size cap, but the fact is that fee markets already exist. Take for example the Mycelium wallet, which offers users normal, high priority, economical, and low priority transaction fees. A popular forum post from Peter R. explains that a block size cap that is lower than demand will simply lead to increasing prices. Should the cap remain, Bitcoin would simply find itself in the position of having to compete with cryptocurrencies which are cheaper to use. Roger Veer Bitcoin Jesus has granted a new interview to the news channel Power and Market. The 25-minute interview covers everything from Roger's predictions on future cryptocurrency adoption to global Bitcoin hotspots and even high-level discussion of economic fallacies like full production versus full employment. The interview was conducted by anchor Albert Liu and is worth a watch in my opinion. What does one have to do to use Dogecoins in a smart contract? Perhaps not too much anymore. Vitalik Buterin, lead developer of Ethereum, has recently said that as his second favorite cryptocurrency, he'd like to see Dogecoins transferable to the Ethereum network to be used in smart contracts. He's recently released code which will allow the two blockchains to interact, letting one Doge token be burned on its chain to reappear as an e-Doge token on the Ethereum blockchain. What'll they think of next? Sponsored shout out to those who'd like to send some sweet, sweet bits to a peaceful cause while shopping for precious metals. The profit from all sales at Roberts & Roberts brokerage between today and December 23rd will be donated directly to the hardworking journalists at antiwar.com. To make this happen, just enter the code PEACEONEARTH when you go to check out with your gold, silver, platinum, or palladium at rrbi.co. Another company has issued shares on the NXT Asset Exchange. This time, it's Bitfirm, a marketing agency that's geared toward cryptocurrency projects. They've issued 10 million shares, and there have been 21 trade instances since the shares were first issued last week. The Amazon Discounts for Bitcoin Marketplace Purse has today dropped a few breadcrumbs about a project they're calling Tritium. A Medium post by a Purse employee states that until using Bitcoin is so superior to fiat that no one would even think to reach for a Visa or MasterCard, Bitcoin has not reached its true potential. Purse says that the Tritium project will involve smart contracts for buying and selling on Purse, so easy to use that the average Joe won't be able to resist. Hey new bits, thanks for sponsoring today's episode. For those who'd like to carry around cryptocurrency in their pockets that's always worth pretty much exactly one US dollar, check out the NewBits new droid wallet. And you can learn more at newbits.com. Today's magic word is voluntary, and if you're on Twitter and you're not following us yet, I cordially invite you to do so. Have a great day.